सॉल्व वन प्रॉब्लेम ऑन बैलेंसिंग ऑफ मल्टी सिलिंडर इन लाइन इंजिन गिवन क्वेश्चन ए फोर सिलिंडर इन लाइन इंजिन हैज टू आउटर क्रैंक्स प्लेस्ड एट वन ट्वेंटी डिग्री अपार्ट एंड देयर इंडिविजुअल रेसिप्रोकेटिंग मासेस आर टू हंड्रेड किलोग्राम द डिस्टन्स बिटवीन द क्रैंक्स आर टू हंड्रेड मिलीमीटर सिक्स हंड्रेड मिलीमीटर एंड फाइव हंड्रेड मिलीमीटर रिस्पेक्टिवली द क्रैंक रेडियस इज थ्री हंड्रेड मिलीमीटर एंड द लेंथ ऑफ कनेक्टिंग रॉड इज ट्वेल्व हंड्रेड मिलीमीटर द क्रैंक रोटेट्स एट थ्री फोर्टी आर पी एम इफ द इंजिन इज टू बी इन कंप्लीट प्राइमरी बैलेंस फाइंड द रेसिप्रोकेटिंग मासेस एंड द रिलेटिव एंगुलर पोजिशन फॉर ईच ऑफ द इनर क्रैंक्स Also find the magnitude of secondary unbalanced force. Let us understand given data and we will draw the diagram for the position of planes as well as angular positions. This is a question for the four cylinders inline engine. So what is the meaning of inline engines? In this case center lines of the cylinders are parallel to each other. and the cylinders are placed in one plane and the reciprocating masses and rotating masses attached to these cylinders are rotating in different planes now it is given that two outer cranks are at 120 degree apart so here there are four cylinders so we can say first second third and fourth so these four cylinders are rotating in four planes so i will give here the number to the planes 1 2 3 and 4 now two outer cranks are at 120 degree apart so these are the outer crank that is this crank number 1 and crank number 4 now if we consider here this crank number 1 is at 0 degree then this crank number 4 is at 120 degree so this is the angular positions of this place now reciprocating mass is 120 kg so we can say that this 120 kg is the mass m so for all these cylinders we have to place here these masses so i will give here the numbers distance between cranks so the distance between these cranks is mentioned 200 mm 600 mm and 500 mm respectively so standard unit is meter now this distance is mentioned in sequence so distance in between 1 to 2 is 0.2 meter so we have to mention here then in between 2 to 3 is 0.6 meter and from 3 to 4 is 0.5 meter then crank radius it is 300 mm so for all these cylinders radius is mentioned so we have to mention this in meter that is 0.3 meter for each cylinder length of connecting rod so l is equal to 1200 mm and that is equal to 1.2 meter so we can say that l is equal to 1.2 meter and crank radius r is equal to 0.3 meter so from this we can calculate the ratio that is obliquity ratio n which is equal to l by r and which is equal to 1.2 divided by 0.3 now the crank speed is given in rpm that is 340 rpm and from this information we can calculate omega so omega is the angular velocity 2 pi n by 60 which is equal to 35.60 radians per second now it is also given that the primary force our primary forces are balanced so we can say that when we draw the primary force polygon then it should be closed and therefore we can write here fp is equal to 0 we will prepare one table to draw the four polygon as well as couple polygon with reference to position of plane diagram so first column is planes if we observe this diagram there are four number of planes so we will mention here now mass m in kilogram now in question it is mentioned that for outer crank reciprocating masses is equal to 200 kg so that is that means for plane number 1 and for plane number 4 we have to mention these masses and mass m2 and m3 unknown 
that we have to find out. Now the radius. So here we have to mention the crank radius R. So it is mentioned 0 0.3 for each cylinder. Now next is centrifugal force. So this is the calculation part and centrifugal force is equal to mR omega square. But all these masses are rotating with same value of angular velocity. So we will refer here F is equal to m into R. So we will multiply these two columns 200 into 0 0.3 that is 60. Next is 0 0.3 m2 and 0 0.3 m3 and for plane 4 it is 60. Now next one is the distance L. So this L distance that means the distance of each plane from the reference plane. Now how to select the reference plane? If we observe for the plane number 2 and plane number 3 unknown M2 and M3 we have to find out. So we can select any plane that is in between 2 and 3 as a reference plane. So I will select here plane 2 as a reference plane. So I will mention here. So we have to mention here also that is plane 2 is the reference plane. Now distance. If we observe for this reference plane, on left hand side there are the planes and on the right hand side there are planes. So distance towards the right hand side we have to mention with positive sign and distance towards the left hand side we have to mention with negative sign. So for this plane 1 what is the distance? It is minus 0 0.2. Then for plane 2, so it is the reference plane, so here it is 0. For plane 3, it is plus 0 0.6 and for plane 4, it is 0 0.6 plus 0 0.5, that is 1.1. .1. Now we will calculate couple. So couple means centrifugal force multiplied by this L. So if we multiply these two columns, then here minus 12, then here 0, then 0 0.3 into 0 0.6. That is 0 0.18 M3 and here is 66. Now next one is the crank position. So here we have to draw primary force polygon as well as secondary force polygon. And these polygons are drawn with reference of this primary crank position and secondary crank position. So here for this primary crank position that means theta and it is mentioned in the question. So if we observe this angular position diagram then for this crank 1 it is at 0 degree that we have assumed and with reference to this crank 1 this outer crank 4 is at 120 degree. So when it is 0 crank number 4 is 120 degree. Now for the other two cranks we have to find out the position. So I will mention here as a theta 2 and theta 3. Now for the secondary a crank position we have to just multiply with 2. So we have to take the reference for this previous column. So 0 into 2, 0. Here is 2 theta 2 and here is 2 theta 3. And here 120 into 2 that is 240. If we observe the column for this couple and force, then for force there are two unknowns, but for the couple only one unknown. So we will first draw the diagram for primary couple polygon with some suitable scale. So if we observe the values for the couple, it is 12 and 66. So we will take scale 1 cm is equal to 3 kg meter square. Now as per this scale for 12, we have to take scale 12 divided by 3 that is 4 cm and for 66 we have to take scale 22 cm. Now here for this plane 1 value is minus 12 and primary crank position is 0 degree. Now because of 0 degree we know the direction for this angle. So I will show here the angle. So here is 0 degree, 90 degree, 180 degree and 270 degree. For the positive sign and 0 degree, we have to draw the line towards right hand side. But here sign is negative, so we will take the opposite direction that is towards the left hand side. So first we will take some reference point that is point O. Now we will take scale that is 4 cm and draw one line. And here is the point 1. And we will show the direction towards the left hand side. Now next one that is the known value is 66 with primary crank position 120 degree. 
Now here this is the crank position that is the angular position is shown with 120 degree and scale we have to take 22 centimeter. Now I will transfer the same scale. Now here this sign is positive. So for the 120 degree we have to show the direction that is the upward direction. So we have to transfer the same scale with 22 centimeter. Now we will show arrow also. We have to show magnitude 66. Here is 12 and here is the plane 4. So I will give here the number 4. Now this primary couple polygon is there. So this polygon always be closed. So we have to close this polygon. Now we will put here the magnitude that is 0 0.18 M3. Now if we measure this length 4 to O then it is 23.9 cm. Now we will multiply with scale that is 3. So this value of 4 to O is 0 0.18 M3 is equal to 71.7. So M3 is equal to 398.33 kg. Now how to measure this angle? So we will transfer this same inclination to the angular position diagram. So if I transfer this and if I measure this whole angle then this theta 3 is equal to 307 degree. Now we get the value of M3 and value of theta 3. So here we will put 307 degree. And for this M3, if we calculate for this force that is 0 0.3 into 398.33, then we will get 119.49. So that is approximately equal to 120. So I will write here as a 120. Now we will move to draw primary force polygon. Now if we observe this column only one unknown value and we have to refer the primary crank position where theta 2 is unknown. Now if we observe first plane angle is 0 degree. Now we have to take the fourth plane where angle is 120 degree and next angle is 307 degree. Now if we observe this value 60, 120 and 60. So we will consider some suitable scale. So I will take here the scale 1 cm is equal to 6 kg meter. So if I take here 6 kg meter then for 60 kg meter we have to take 10 cm. So first we will take the minimum an angle for the plane 1 that is 0 degree. So for 0 degree we have to draw horizontal line. So I will select one reference point that is point O. Then I will draw one horizontal line here is positive sign. So direction is towards the right hand side draw a line for 10 cm. So here is the point 1. Now show here the magnitude 60. Next is next minimum angle is for plane 4. Here the value is 60 angle is 120. So for 120 I will transfer this same angle and now we have to take the 10 cm line. Now this is for the plane 4. So for plane 4 I will give here the number 4 and magnitude is 60. Now next angle that is known angle is 307 and mag here magnitude is 120. So for the 120 we have to take 20 cm. Now I will transfer this angle and we will draw line for 20 cm. So here what is the number? So number is 3. Now this primary force polygon should be closed. So we have to join this end point and initial point. So I will join these points. Now we will uh, put here the magnitude. So what is the magnitude? So here this remaining unknown value that is 0 0.3 M2. Now here we will show direction that is from 3 to 0. That is direction is in the upward direction. Now in the same direction I will transfer this line to the angular position diagram. So here 
Now this is the angle for this plane 2. That is we have to place here number 2. Now if we measure this length from 3 to O then it is 20 cm. So as per scale we have to take 20 multiplied by 6 and we have to put 0 0.3 M2 is equal to 120. So M2 is equal to 400 kg. And if we measure this angle for 2 that is theta 2 is equal to 157. So we will mention here this value that is theta 2 is equal to 157 degree and if I put here M2 is 400 that is 400 into 0 0.3 that is 120. All the values for theta that is primary crank position are known and from that we can calculate the secondary crank position. So 2 into 0 that is 0, 157 into 2 that is 314 degree, 307 into 2, 614. So here one complete revolution of 360 degree is getting completed. So 614 minus 360 that is we have to take 254 degree and here 120 into 2 that is 240 degree. Now according to the secondary crank position, we will plot here secondary crank position diagram. So first we will take the first plane at 0 degree, then second at 314, then third at 254 degree and fourth at 240 degree. Now we will draw here the secondary force polygon. So if we observe the values of force, then it is 60, 120, 120 and 60. We will consider some suitable scale 1 cm is equal to 12 kg meter. So according to this scale for 60 kg meter 60 divided by 12 that is 5 cm we have to take. Now if we observe here is the plane 1. Now we will move according to this clockwise direction that is first we will take plane 1 then 2 then 3 and 4. Now this plane 1 is at 0 degree. So at 0 degree and with positive value we will draw line towards the right hand side. So this is the reference point O. Now draw 5 cm line and give here the point 1. Now next is plane 2 and it is at 120. So according to scale we have to take 10 cm and here is the angle 314. So I will transfer the same angle. And I will draw here one line 10 cm. So here is the point 2. And its a magnitude is 120. So we have to mention here. We have to mention here. Now next is plane 3. And it is at 254. And again it is 120. That means 10 cm. So again I will transfer the same angle. And draw here one line with 10 cm. And here is 0.3. So it is 120. Then next is 4. So for 4 again the magnitude is 60. And angle is 240. So for 60 we have to draw 5 cm line. And I will transfer this angle for the plane 4. So here is 0.4. So I will mention here and here is 60. Now we will join the initial point and final point. So final to initial direction is in the upward direction. So this secondary force polygon is closed and this is the unbalanced secondary force that is USF. If we measure this distance 4 to O then it is equal to 23.5 cm. So we will multiply with scale that is 12. So which is equal to 282. Now how to calculate unbalanced secondary force? So we have to multiply with particular factor and that factor is 2 omega bracket square divided by 4n. Where n is the obliquity ratio that is L by R. So if we calculate or if we put the value of omega and n then 282 into 2 into 35.60 bracket square divided by 4 into 4. So when we solve this then we will get the answer 89.348 into 10 raised to 3 Newton.